In the crystal clear waters of the Tyrrhenian Sea, approximately 35 miles, 57 kilometers, west-northwest of the historic city of Messina lies an archipelago that has harbored volcanic secrets for millennia. The Aegolian Islands, also known as the Lipari Islands, form a group of seven main islands of volcanic origin, declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. These islands emerged from the depths of the sea through intense volcanic activity over hundreds of thousands of years, creating unique landscapes that combine natural beauty with impressive geological power. Among all these volcanic islands, one carries a name that resonates through the history of volcanology worldwide. This island not only lent its name to the word volcano in various languages, but also gave origin to the scientific term volcanian eruption, a specific type of explosive activity characterized by violent and intermittent explosions. Roman mythology attributed this island as the forge of the god Vulcan, where he created Jupiter's lightning bolts, thus explaining the thunderous sounds and flames that emerge from its depths. Historically, this volcano has witnessed activities dating back to immemorial times. Ancient records document significant eruptions throughout the centuries, with the last great manifestation of its power occurring in 1890. Since then, it has remained in a state of relative tranquility, leading many specialists to consider it as a sleeping giant that could remain so for decades or even centuries. However, something completely unexpected is happening at this moment. A volcano that should remain silent for many more years is showing signs that it may be awakening again. The most modern scientific instruments are detecting changes that no one predicted would occur so soon, and these alterations are leaving volcanologists around the world in a state of alert. And what makes the situation even more surprising is that this awakening is occurring in a completely different way than expected. After a period of calm that lasted almost two years, Worrying signs began to emerge suddenly and intensely, suggesting that something significant may be happening in the depths of this ancestral volcanic system, something that could completely change our understanding of volcanic activity patterns in this region. Volcano, this legendary Italian volcanic island, starred between June 2021 and December 2023 in the most intense episode of volcanic unrest since its last eruption more than a century ago. During this extraordinary period, Scientists observed a dramatic escalation in multiple volcanological parameters that completely transformed the usual behavior of the system. Gas plumes began reaching heights much higher than normal, while fumarole temperatures, those openings on the surface through which volcanic gases escape, registered significant increases indicating deep changes within the volcano's interior. Simultaneously, precision instruments detected ground deformations suggesting movement of material in the Earth's depths. Seismic activity, characterized by frequent but low-magnitude earthquakes, began to increase consistently, creating a pattern that volcanologists recognize as typical of volcanic systems in a state of unrest. However, it was the gas emissions that truly caught the attention of the international scientific community, especially the levels of sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide that began rising alarmingly. The situation became particularly alarming when carbon dioxide concentrations in the soil increased up to 20 times their previous levels in certain areas. This extraordinary increase represented not just a statistical anomaly, but a clear signal that deep volcanic processes were intensifying rapidly. Between November and December 2021, activity reached its maximum peak, leading Italian authorities to raise the volcano's alert level to yellow, a classification indicating a state of attention due to the possibility of volcanic activity. After this peak of activity, something expected by specialists began to happen, a gradual and consistent decrease in all monitored parameters. Month after month, instrument readings showed that volcano was returning to its usual state of tranquility. This decreasing trend continued for almost two complete years, culminating in mid-December 2023, when volcanic activity returned to normal baseline levels, allowing the alert level to be lowered back to green. But here lies the mystery that is intriguing volcanologists. When a volcano goes through such a significant episode of unrest and then returns to normalcy, the expected scientific trend is that this calm should be maintained for several years, sometimes up to half a decade. This is exactly why no one expected something extraordinary to happen again so quickly. But was this expectation correct? At the beginning of August 2025, something completely unexpected began to unfold at Volcano. The decreasing trend that had been consistently observed since 2023 suffered an abrupt and dramatic reversal, catching the volcanological community completely by surprise. 
Carbon dioxide levels in the soil, which had remained stable and low for almost two years, began rising rapidly throughout the month of August, registering an impressive increase of more than 900% in some monitoring areas. What made the situation even more extraordinary was the fact that these new values not only surpassed normal levels, but also exceeded the maximum peaks recorded during the entire previous episode of unrest between 2021 and 2022. This sudden escalation was not limited only to carbon dioxide emissions. Multiple monitoring systems began detecting simultaneous changes in several critical volcanological parameters. Temperatures at volcanic openings began registering significant increases during the same period, while the frequency of small earthquakes returned to intensify notably. High precision instruments also detected signs of ground deformation, although on a smaller scale compared to the previous episode. Additionally, starting in mid-August, thermal waters at certain points on the island began presenting higher temperatures, indicating that the changes were not limited only to the surface, but involved deeper geothermal systems. It's important to highlight that not all monitoring stations registered these increases uniformly. Of the four main locations where soil carbon dioxide is continuously monitored, three presented simultaneous increases that remained elevated afterwards. Of these three locations, only one reached the highest values of the current decade, suggesting that, although significant, this new phase of unrest has not yet reached the maximum intensity of the previous episode. To completely understand what may be happening now at Volcano, it's fundamental to understand what caused the previous unrest. During the period from 2021 to 2022, Detailed scientific analyses revealed that the unrest was not caused by the intrusion of fresh magma into the volcanic system, but rather by the movement of magmatic fluids and gases from the magma chamber to more superficial levels of the Earth's crust, where these materials entered the volcano's hydrothermal system. The entry of these magmatic fluids and gases into the hydrothermal system created a significant pressure increase resulting in all the geophysical changes that were observed during that period of intense activity. This process is known by volcanologists as hydrothermal pressurization and represents a common mechanism in volcanoes that are not necessarily preparing for an imminent eruption, but that are undergoing internal readjustments in their fluid and gas circulation systems. If the same process is repeating now, this would mean that another set of magmatic gases may have moved from the depths to more superficial levels again causing an increase in pressure in volcanoes underlying hydrothermal system. This explanation would align perfectly with the observed patterns. The sudden increase in carbon dioxide emissions, the elevated temperatures of fumaroles and thermal waters, and the signs of ground deformation. However, volcanological science also teaches us that there isn't always a deep or complex explanation for temporary changes in volcanic activity. Sometimes, volcanoes can present random and brief fluctuations in their parameters without this necessarily indicating the beginning of a larger volcanic process. This possibility, although considered less likely by specialists, cannot be completely ruled out in the current analysis of volcano situation. What makes this situation particularly fascinating from a scientific point of view is how it challenges our temporal expectations about volcanic behavior. The speed with which Volcano returned to showing signs of unrest after a relatively short period of calm suggests that our understanding of this specific volcanic system's activity cycles may need to be revised and deepened through more detailed studies. Currently, despite all these worrying signs, Volcano's alert level remains green, indicating that Italian authorities consider that current activity, although elevated, does not yet represent a significant immediate threat. However, continuous and rigorous monitoring continues to be essential to detect any future escalation in volcanic activity. If you were intrigued by this extraordinary story of one of the world's most famous volcanoes and want to follow the next updates on this developing situation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any detail of this fascinating volcanological saga that is unfolding right before our eyes.